It's, it's acknowledging loss and it's acknowledging betrayal. I mean, that's what sadness and anger are. What's the function of those emotions? What is the function of sadness? Sadness is the emotion that tells you that you lost something. Anger is the emotion that tells you you've been violated or betrayed. So what have these people lost? They've lost their health. They've lost their you know, social interactions. Uh, they've lost the comfort of being within their own bodies. Maybe that's what they lost. Uh, what's the betrayal? So if they, if they are anger, if they are angry, then why, where should their anger be directed? Maybe to themselves for, you know, sitting down with a box of, you know, cookies every day or sitting down with a box, a carton of ice cream or gelato or whatever it is. I mean, people have the right to be angry. We shouldn't defend people from the experience of being angry if that anger actually does something. Like, people have, people have the right to be angry at themselves. Damn it, I should have done better at this, and I betrayed myself. I mean, that's an appropriate anger response. I'm going to do better next time. That's what that, that's what that response uh, requires and is asking for. Uh, another angry response would be, you know, they defunded our school and now we don't have playground or the COVID policy took away our, our, our playground and we couldn't play for three years because some jackass uh, politician getting paid off by a drug company forced us to close our gym. And this is what happened to us in Spain. They closed down our only community center where all the kids played together every afternoon, where all the old people went in the morning and where around middle of the day, say around one o'clock or so, you had the old people eating in the cafe of the gym and mixing with their grandkids and the young kids of the community. I mean, that was a beautiful thing that we got to see every day. And they shut all that down because they said the gym was a potential, you know, risk for exposure for this upper respiratory infection.